Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning, our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 14, verses 27 to 30. The Word of God says, But Jonathan had not heard that his father had bound the people with an oath, so he reached out the end of his staff that was in his hand and dipped it in the honeycomb. He raised his hand to his mouth, and his eyes brightened. Then one of the soldiers told him, Your father bound the army under a strict oath, saying, Cursed be anyone who eats food today. This is why the men are faint. Jonathan said, My father has made trouble for the country. See how my eyes brightened when I tasted a little of this honey? How much better it would have been if the men had eaten today some of the plunder they took from their enemies. Would not the slaughter of the Philistines have been even greater? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, I pray that you would help us to have wisdom, to partake of the provision of your hand, provision that you've given us for our strength, for our walk, for our faith. Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, beloved, at different times in my life, I have realized that somehow my uh, faith and my walk with God have gone askew, that somehow my my spiritual life, I'm sick in my spiritual life, whatever happened, um, and I can always come back to one simple truth, that I have not been partaking of God's provision, that what God gave me, that God strengthens me in my prayer life, in the Word, in, in my devotion to Him, that somehow I've gone away from it. And we'll see an example of departing from the provision of God today. You see, Jonathan, he's in the woods. He hasn't heard that his father had made the, the order, probably because he was over slaughtering the Philistines and taking the battle to them when everybody else was hiding. And so he's in the woods. He sees the honey. Everybody else won't touch it, and they're faint, and they, they feel like they're about to die, and they're hungry. He doesn't know that he's not supposed to eat it, so he touches his staff into it. He tastes it, and his eyes were brightened. He was healthy. He was well. He had received what God gave him for that day. That little taste made him so much better. But somebody said to him, what are you doing? Your father bound the army under a strict oath, saying, curse be anyone who eats food today. And that's why the men are faint. They weren't partaking of what God had given, and they were fainting. Jonathan said, my father has made trouble for the country. See how my eyes have brightened when I tasted a little of the honey? Jonathan knew that what he needed was what God had provided. And he was a living testimony that if we will simply take what God gives us, that we will have strength and be carried forward into victory. Beloved, so many times... We put on a, a, a false uh, holiness where we pretend uh, something that is not God's way. We add to the Word of God. We uh, take away from God by not coming to His Word. We don't fill ourselves with what God has given us, and our faith faints. The wonder of God is if that we will simply dip and taste God and see that He's good, that we'll be strengthened again that all of that weakness goes away. I started this by saying there have been times in my life where I find my, my something has gone wrong. And it's an old thing that a pastor told me many, many years ago when I first entered the ministry. I guess not many, many years ago. Many years ago to me, to some of you, it would have been just two or three days ago, depending on how old you are. But this pastor told me, always read the Bible. Always pray. Don't neglect it. He told me that because... His experience became something similar to mine. Pastors get very busy with, not with life, but with ministry. You're visiting people in the hospital. You're going to see people that are sick. You are grieving with those that are grieving. You're constantly going from one place to another. And you run out of time. And so what goes away? Well, invariably, you start getting rid of your own personal life. You sacrifice your family. You sacrifice personal time. You sacrifice your health. And then finally you begin to sacrifice the Word of God and worship and prayer. And things go off the rail. The wonder of God is that when that happens, when God calls us back, all we have to do is begin coming back to God's Word again 
And all of that weakness goes away, and we're restored to spiritual strength. Of course it's embarrassing that it happened, but we're all flawed and uh, failing people, saved by grace, something we didn't earn. And we need to always remind ourselves, come back to the provision of God. It was never me. It was a provision of God. Jonathan ends our scripture today with, How much better would it have been if the men had eaten today some of the plunder they took from the enemies? Would not the slaughter have the Philistines have been even greater? What if we would just partake of what God has given us? Would not our victories be even greater, beloved? Let's walk in that victory today. Let's come back to God and his provision and partake of that. May God bless you as you go about your day.